Hello students, welcome to my chemistry classes. In the last session we have had a discussion on aliphatic organic conversions and today I am going to discuss aromatic, aromatic organic conversions and as we know in aromatic compounds the parent compound is benzene so it's better to start with benzene benzene is parent aromatic hydrocarbon from benzene a large number of organic compounds can be synthesized step by step okay let's start benzene if you take benzene and CH3COCl you know acetyl chloride in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 which is acting as a Lewis acid and the Friedel-Crafts acylation will take place and the compound is acetophenone acetophenone having CO carbonyl group and that can be reduced by zinc amalgam in presence of ACL and the reaction is said to be Clemenson reduction and you are getting ethyl benzene in another route from benzene if benzene is allowed to react with H2SO4 at about 80 degree centigrade you are getting sulfonic acid from benzene if you carry out the nitration and you know the for the nitration reaction so along with HNO3 H2SO4 is required for the preparation N of NO2 plus ion that is nitronium ion and the product is here nitrobenzene nitrobenzene can be reduced by SN in presence of HCl and you are getting aniline 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 and the reversely if you are asked to convert aniline to nitrobenzene and one good reagent we have here so CF3C triple OH peroxy trifluoroacetic acid and it will oxidize aniline to nitrobenzene so benzene to acetophenone and ethyl benzene Friedel-Crafts acylation Clemenson reduction and it is sulfonation and benzene to nitrobenzene nitration reaction Nitro nitrobenzene can be reduced in acidic medium to get aniline and aniline can further be converted to nitrobenzene by these oxidizing agent peroxy trifluoroacetic acid benzene can be treated with Cl2 in presence of FeCl3 FeCl3 so you will get chlorobenzene chlorobenzene whenever treated with methyl iodide in sodium and ether medium the reaction is Urge-Fittig reaction and you are getting toluene and if chlorobenzene two moles of chlorobenzene is allowed to react with sodium and by Fittig reaction you are getting diphenyl diphenyl system okay and next look chlorobenzene from chlorobenzene at about 300 atm pressure and um, it is carried out with NaOH okay and 623 Kelvin at first and it will change to a salt and then finally a you know phenol is obtained and the reaction is Dow's reaction chlorobenzene can also be converted to cyanobenzene in using CUCN and you know cyanide group is there cyanide group by acidic hydrolysis we are getting CN group changes to CWH and the compound is said to be benzoic acid in another chain from toluene toluene can be treated with Cl2 Cl2 and diffuse sunlight and the product is benzyl chloride benzyl chloride can be hydrolyzed in aqueous KOH medium to get benzyl alcohol benzyl alcohol can be oxidized benzyl alcohol can be oxidized and the, uh, by simple oxidizing agent like potassium dichromate in H2SO4 you are getting benzyl dehyde benzyl dehyde can further be oxidized to benzoic acid you know alcohol primary alcohol aromatic primary alcohol oxidizes to aldehyde and then aldehyde further oxidizes to acid that is benzoic acid benzoic acid can also be obtained from ethyl benzene 
and which has been prepared uh, from acetophenone by Clemenson reduction. And all the carbon groups, methyl, ethyl, isopropyl, acetyl, all the groups, uh, uh, whenever oxidized by KMNO4, you are getting the same product, benzoic acid. And if you want to remove the CWH group from benzene, that is from benzoic acid to benzene, the best reagent we have here, that is soda lime. You know, soda lime is a mixture of NaOH and CaO. So, uh, the, from benzene, so we can convert to different compounds like acetophenone, ethyl benzene, sulfonic acid, nitrobenzene. So, these are the compounds we have discussed. Now let us move to the, uh, the next part of the chart, okay. So here again we will start with benzene. Benzene to nitrobenzene we have already discussed but the, this step is a different one and here nitrobenzene is reduced by zinc and NH4Cl and you are getting phenyl hydroxylamine phenyl hydroxylamine and nitrobenzene can, oxy, can be reduced by SNACL that one is also already discussed and it is aniline. Aniline can be treated with methyl iodide in excess you are getting dimethyl aniline. One of the very important reaction and from aniline you know applying NaNO2 and HCl the main reagent is HNO2 or nitrous acid and the temperature is to be maintained from 0 to 5 degree and it is called diazodization reaction and NH2 group uh, changes to N2 plus Cl minus so the diazodization the product is benzene diazonium chloride one of the most important organic compound as it is is can be used for the preparation of large number of organic compounds benzene diazonium chloride can be treated with water or in the and with heat and you are getting phenol. Phenol can also be obtained in another route that is from benzene to sulfonation, benzene sulfonic acid. We have already done that one and benzene sulfonic acid can be fused with NOH to get phenol. Benzene sulfonic acid if it is treated with KCN and we are getting cyanobenzene. Benzene can be treated with methyl chloride in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 you know so you are getting toluene and it is Friedel-Craft reaction you know. Friedel-Craft alkylation and we did earlier Friedel-Craft acylation where we did with the acetophenone. So toluene can be nitrated the nitration reaction in presence of HNO3 and H2SO4 and we can have ortho and para nitro toluene. And if it is further treated with HNO3, you are getting an explosive TNT, trinitro toluene. TNT is an explosive and that is trinitro toluene. Cyanitrotoluene. Benzene diazonium chloride, one of the very very important organic reaction. From benzene diazonium chloride, if we carry out the Sanmier reaction using CuClHCl, we are getting chlorobenzene. If it is heated with Ki, we are getting iodobenzene. And if we are getting HbF4 fluoroboric acid, we are getting fluorobenzene. Okay. And if we treat benzene diazonium chloride, with H3PO2 that is hypophosphorus acid we are getting benzene. So these are the important reactions. Now let us move to the another part of the chart and here as it is written roadmap 3. So again we will start with benzene. Okay. So benzene to toluene we did. Okay. Benzene to toluene. Benzene can be treated with carbon monoxide and HCl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. We are getting benzaldehyde. Benzaldehyde. And benzene to toluene we did by Friedel-Craft alkylation. 
and that toluene can be converted to benzaldehyde using CRO to Cl2. You know CRO to Cl2, CRO to Cl2, chromyl chloride and the reaction is said to be ATAR reaction. Toluene can be treated with KMnO4 to get benzoic acid. We did that one and acid is reduced to get alcohol, you know. And the alcohol is oxidized to acid reversely. Benzoic acid whenever treated with PCL5, one important compound, benzoyl chloride compound is obtained, benzoyl chloride. And benzoyl chloride can be hydrolyzed to get again benzene. If benzoyl chloride is treated with aqueous ammonia, we are getting benzamide, amide compound. Okay, amide compound. And if benzoyl chloride is treated with ethanol, so we have ethyl benzoate, ethyl benzoate add product. And benzoyl chloride can be treated with benzene in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 and the product is benzophenone. And you know that is Friedel-Crafts reaction. Benzene to benzene sulfonic acid we have already done and that is benzene is to be treated with H2SO4 at about 80 degrees centigrade, 8 hours. So, benzene sulfonic acid. From benzaldehyde, from benzaldehyde, we can prepare of important compound, mandelic acid. And you know how benzaldehyde whenever treated with HCN, HCN benzaldehyde cyanohydrin will be there. And that benzaldehyde cyanohydrin, whenever hydrolyzed in acidic medium, we are getting mandelic acid. Benzene sulfonic acid whenever fused with NaOH, we did that one and we are having uh, phenol. Phenol can be treated with zinc dust and heated it or you are getting benzene. Phenol whenever treated with anhydrous zinc chloride in presence of ammonia, you are getting aniline and aniline to HONO that is HNO2 nitrous acid and the temperature is to be maintained as I have just said from 0 to 5 degree, you are getting benzene diazonium chloride. From phenol, few very, very important compounds can be prepared and these are very important for you. So, phenol whenever treated with conch HNO3, so conch HNO3, nitration reaction will be there and the picric acid 246-trinitrophenol is obtained. And but whenever phenol is treated with chlorophemine NOH, rimatimin reaction, in short RT reaction and the product is salicyldehyde, orthohydroxybenzaldehyde. Salicyldehyde, another name, orthohydroxybenzaldehyde. But in the place of chloroform, if you add CCL4, that is carbon tetrachloride, and the product is different, it will be salicylic acid, orthohydroxybenzoic acid. It is orthohydroxybenzaldehyde, it is orthohydroxybenzoic acid or salicylic acid. From salicylic acid, three uh, important compounds can be prepared. Whenever salicylic acid is allowed to react with acetic anhydride, you know. So, you are getting aspirin. Aspirin, the uh, chemical name is acetyl salicylic acid. Acetyl group, you know, COCS3, acetyl salicylic acid. But whenever salicylic acid is allowed to treat it with methanol in presence of H2SO4, you are getting methyl salicylate, which is also said to be oil of winter green. And that is very important reaction for the identification of methanol. Okay, oil of winter green having certain smell. And whenever salicylic acid is treated with C6H5OH, you know, that is phenol in presence of POCl3 and it is heated, you are getting salol, that is phenyl salicylate. So, these are the important organic aromatic conversion conversions. Now, you need to go through these reactions very carefully and try to get it. Okay. Thank you.